I got a lovely package from Walt Disney World. I'm curious what they sent. It's like it was like it's got the official Walt Disney World 50th anniversary sticker on it. Whoa. No way. We've got a lot in this card. Kyle, we're thrilled to have you help celebrate the Walt Disney World Resorts and their partnership with Coke's 50th anniversary. Please enjoy this anniversary themed gifts, including a two day adult park hopper to Walt Disney World? Your friends at Coca Cola and at Disney Parks. No way. Dude, this is like the whole, like, the whole collection of Coke. A lovely fanny pack, and inside the fanny pack, are two freaking park hopper tickets. Two day park hopper tickets. I really wish I used, I opened this before my brother came. It didn't come, it literally came the other day when he left, but man, that would have been so nice. We've got a Coca-Cola bear here. It's really soft. Walt Disney Resorts Coca-Cola mug. A little thermos here, sweet. Oh, okay. Holy cow, this is so cool. So they sent us all the bottles of the Coca-Cola, like all the designs. Literally every single one. <laughs> this is so cool. Got our Mickey ears, the official Mickey ears here. Portable charger. Okay. Mine is very out to date and old, so this is probably gonna be better. I think that's it. Holy cow. I did not expect that. Thank you, uh, Walt Disney World and Coca-Cola. Holy cow. Looks like these expire in 2024. Okay. Got that. How awesome. How awesome. They even had some very fun, fun confetti in here as well. What a surprise. I didn't expect that at all. Cool. Well, let's get going. We gotta go somewhere today. Today's a great day. It's glorious. And we are going... Medium ice caramel macchiato. Thank you. You as well, man. Ta-da! Kind of ironic that I decided to open a Disney World care package the day that we go to Universal, but it's just been sitting there and I wanted to open it to see what's inside. Ah, oh, shoot. I just realized that since I didn't renew my annual pass, I'm probably gonna have to pay for parking today. Well, I just learned I can't actually renew my annual pass. I haven't been here in so long and I parked that like the end of the garage. I think that's universal punishment for saying you gotta come here more, Kyle. Well, as you guys can see by the video title, I didn't renew my universal annual pass and it wasn't by accident. It was actually kind of done deliberately because I knew I wasn't going to be coming here at least until February and my pass expires in January so I just kind of let it expire. I thought I'd be able to renew it but I'm past like the 30 day mark because it's like at the end of February already. I just knew I wasn't going to be coming here because I was so busy with everything else. Um, obviously I still love Universal, it's just it wasn't on the top of my priority to visit like it is obviously today to finally renew this, this bad boy. I've got no idea how much it's gonna cost, but I am gonna get the three-day ticket. Volcano Bay, Islands, and Universal. There's a lot of updates inside of Universal, obviously since we haven't been here. And um, it's Mardi Gras, at least I still think it is. It should be. Somebody left their car on. How the heck does that happen? I've got no idea how much this is going to cost, but I'm obviously gonna let you guys know. And uh, I'm gonna see if they can reimburse my parking today. It was $27. We'll see if they do that for me. I don't think they will, but it doesn't hurt to ask because parking is included with my uh, non-existing annual pass right now. There is another reason why well, I also didn't renew my annual pass in January because back in 2021 when I went full-time on YouTube that's when all my expenses incurred and happened in January so it's kind of like a little bit more of a breather that I don't have to pay an additional whatever it's gonna cost me today in January every year on top of all my other expenses when I knew I wasn't gonna be coming here so that's the reason why 
I didn't renew it in January and basically in February, just for a little bit more of a breathing room. And uh, it had nothing to do with Universal itself. It's just, you know, I uh, wasn't gonna come here. So I just let that thing go. Hopefully I'll be able to renew it today, I don't know. I mean, or buy one. I guess we'll find out, right? How bad would that be if I can't even buy a new annual pass? You can't really do it at Disney World. Pretty sure you can do it here, but I didn't really research. I just kind of assumed I was able to do that. We'll find out. Yo, I saw it online. It's the first time I'm seeing it in person. We got a big update coming ahead. First of all, off here to the left is the Mardi Gras tree. However, if you notice, there's not that many beads on it this time because I heard a security guard at night sits here and doesn't allow people to throw it here. Interesting, right? But there's still some on here, a lot, but a lot less from previous years. Welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. They finally put the sign back up. I think this was in January, but you know, we haven't been here in a hot second. I don't even know the last time we were here. I think it was with Laura. Comment down below if you know the last time I was here, because I have no idea. Was it like Christmas? It's been a long time. Just about as long as they took putting this sign up. They took a book out of Disney's Tron, putting this here. Cool though, right? I'm gonna go to concierge. I think this is where you buy passes. If not, I'm gonna go to the ticket office. I went here one year, I don't know if they moved it. We'll see, we'll see. It's a long line too, shucks. Maybe I go to the ticket office? All right, you don't do it there anymore. I think that's gen like a general help desk. I could have sworn I did it there in 2021. You know, it's 2023, crazy. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, I didn't even tell you guys this, with my updates of traveling, because this was a very spontaneous trip, I did tell you guys sort of on Twitter, but we are uh, having a water park adventure this weekend. Water park capital of the world, coming tomorrow. And you guys know what that means? And you guys know what that means? We'll be there this weekend in like 10 feet of snow. Yep. Sure enough. Mardi Gras grows and goes until April 16th. April 16th, baby. Can't believe we haven't been, haven't been here, but February 4th, we were kind of busy. Not anymore. Oh, they're doing some construction at the front. Tickets, vouchers, annual passes. Here we go. Let's go become a annual pass holder again. Doesn't look to be too busy. Where are we getting the three park? Here's a look at my old annual pass. There's the three park. I think it's gonna be over $500 for a three park this year. We'll see what it is. I don't think the color even changes too. You can go up to a premium as well, but that's like an additional 100. Just like that, after $585.74, we are allowed to go on in to three parks. I'm actually blocked out of Volcano Bay in complete July and partially out of August. Looks like they're refurbing the right hand side of the entrance here. Headed on into Universal. Let's go on in. It's been a hot second. It has been a hot second for sure. I could have got the premiere, but it was literally like $800, 300 more. That comes with like valet parking, which is, you know, not needed and you have to tip on top of that. So I always get my three park. Soon it's gonna be four park with Epic next year. I feel it's been a century since we've been in Universal. We do have an update with the new uh, ride here at the front. I, I saw like just two days ago, they put the signage up. I hope it changes because right now it's just like a sticker. 
It has to do with like their their bla their minion blasting ride. These walls, last time we were here, I believe we're not in the front half. The villain con. It's where Shrek used to be. They put the sign up. I don't think that's a permanent sign. I think they're just advertising it. There's no way. There it is. Welcome to Villain Con, Universal Studios, Florida. There's no way that's permanent. No way. I'm gonna laugh if that is. I think it's, you know, again, just advertising it. But this whole main drag is pretty much under refurbishment. See this? Look at that. This <laughs> the street between Transformers and Villain Con, I almost called it Shrek, is blocked off. Looks like it's only for team members only. The lineup for the live concert. Who's coming up? Three Doors Down. Why do I not know who Three Doors Down is? Who Sean Paul's here? That's so funny. March 5th is the last day of the live concerts. The live concerts used to go longer. I remember they had them going up until my birthday, March 18th. Wonder why they're uh, limiting that now. Maybe is that something to do with budget? Anyways, let's head on in. It's Mardi Gras. Check that out. They're actually extending the structure itself. Wow. Okay. Love construction updates. I do though, um, real quick, just want to apologize for not coming here, especially for the opening of Mardi Gras. I try my best to come to the openings of everything and get here as soon as I possibly can. Just uh, wasn't in the cards. Wasn't in the cards or the budget. Oh my gosh, king cakes. I love my king cakes. We did a whole Mardi Gras series last year. Remember when we actually went to the real Mardi Gras? They have beignets here too, obviously. Pack today. Look at Transformers line, using their outside extended queue. Laura is usually my universal buddy. I'm trying to get Casey a universal annual pass, but she keeps saying no. Guys, we gotta turn her into an Insta girl. Or sorry, an Insta girl, that too. A universal girl. It's a must. They're doing something over here as well. I feel just when, uh, well not just when, it's been a while, but when the mummy boards came down, they went up everywhere else. I mean, speaking of Casey too, one of the first times we hung together on camera, or sorry, off camera, was here. This is a sort of kind of interesting. Universal moved their tribute store. I don't know if this is gonna be in the future or not, but this is usually where all of the tribute stores are located. I wonder if the next one's gonna be in there, but we have to go somewhere else for the tribute store. Forgot that they did this. Follow me. As far as today's going, like the lines are crowded, but it's not crowded outside as much as you expect it to be with how long the wait times are. It's really not that bad. It's also perfect out. 80 degrees. Light little breeze here. Not too bad today. You know what? I'm gonna wait in this 75 minute line here for Transformers. I really wanna go on before we head to the tribute store. I miss this ride. Let's go on Transformers. Put on your glasses. You guys are my navigators, so if anyone sees trouble, I can't reach. Woohoo! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! It's Rabbit! He's after the Allspark! Oh my gosh! Wait, 
him again. Activate the battle shields. Jesus, what a ride. Posted 70, waited about an hour. I think the express was so long. I know there's a single rider, but I just kind of wanted to see what the wait time was, what versus posted, just because it's been a while since we've been at Universal, and I want to see how accurate they are with their wait time. So it's kind of just like Disney. Wait a second, I actually know the last day we were here. It was with Laura, and we went on the dry water slide. That section's all closed now, right by ET. Let's go check that out. Welcome to Construction Zone, everybody. Brazil. Oh my goodness, the Animals Actors actually closed too. I think that closed a couple days after we were here. It's gonna be very interesting how they do this with Halloween Horror Nights now, because this used to be a huge entrance. Construction Zone area. Oh, there's like a cement truck right there. Wow. Is that a cement truck? Or like some cleaner type thing? You can hear a lot of beeps going on over there. The only access this leads to is ET now. It's a dead end and boy does it smell like ET. Not really much to see, but you can see that Universal is doing a lot with their theme parks and future theme parks. Disney's got to get with it here. Disney's got to get with it. I'm assuming this cat is from like the new Puss in Boots. No one wants to meet with her. Just sitting there vibing. We're going to call this the land of reefer balls. There's more reefer balls over here by the Simpsons ride. It's kind of like Epcot, but throughout the whole park. Redoing something over here. Looks to be the entrance of the Simpsons ride. You enter to the behind me now. If only they refurb this whole ride. It needs it. And just when you thought the walls would end. Nope. There's more over here. So much going on at this park. It's actually mind-boggling. We're gonna go on Men in Black. It's been a hot second. This one, however, we're gonna use the single rider line. Even though it's a 20 minute wait. No need to, to time that one. Now they're gonna have like technically two shooter type games. Got Men in Black and then the, the one at the front that they're currently making. I wonder if they're gonna get rid of Men in Black. Could be part of their plan. Oh, when the AC hits. Woo. Say it with me. It's a walk on, baby. <laughs> Get it? I see him. Who is so happy? Oh boy. I get to hear that song again. The universe. And you know. But you keep smiling and walking while I'm stuck in this box with no coffee and I'm <laughs> eating the buttons. I just asked myself where my sunglasses were. 
That's how my day is going. Had a little mind fart there. There's so many characters out today. Like, I feel I'm at Disneyland with the amount of characters are out. It's actually insane. I feel like everywhere I go, there's there's characters. Universal Studios are bust. <laughs> All right, let's head on into the tribute store here. This is where it's now located. I think this is its permanent stop now. It's where it's gonna be all the time, all the tribute stores. Let's head on in. If it is, it's it's very tiny. Look how cool this room is. This is beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. In the first room, it was just kind of like beads. You could get cool beads, hats. Now this is more like a decked out tribute store. Wow, oh wow, they have a whole blown piano? I can play something. I can play Here Comes the Bride. There's little T's. Looks like you could have gotten your picture on a um, tequila bottle. Or whatever uh, alcohol bottle you, you think that is. A tribute Spirits bottle. It's a little bit smaller than the past tribute stores for sure. I feel like this ended really quick. Technically only three rooms. Oh, that's cool. I really like that. And just like that, we're, we're done. This used to be the prop shop. Thank you. Well, everybody, I think that's going to be it for our Universal Adventure. I came on into uh, Central Park here. No one's ever here, especially right now. It's just really kind of beautiful. No one's ever here. Sorry it took me so long to come to Universal. Got on two rides today. I didn't want to eat anything just because trying to watch what I eat. Um, but we'll probably come back here hopefully soon and try some food with some people. Just wanted to get myself here, get my uh, annual pass. And uh, time's about two o'clock here right now and I'm gonna head out of here. Tomorrow, the adventure begins to the water park capital of the world. It's gonna be a good one. Can't wait to go back to water parks. It's been a while. I did get a new camera. New camera. See you guys then.